Voters got their first extended look at an historically diverse field of Democratic presidential hopefuls in a primetime TV debate last night. Did you stay up to watch? Ten candidates talked for two hours, agreeing on most of the most of the important issues, but highlighting their differences in policy ideas. Ten more candidates, including Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, and Pete Buttigieg, will take the same stage tonight. Ed O'Keefe is in Miami, where he covered last night's debate. He's got a bit of laryngitis, but he still has something to say. Ed, what stood out for you? <laughs> Well, there seemed to be a sense of relief last night that the party got through a substantive debate free of any real nastiness. One name that didn't come up much, President Trump. Instead, the Democrats focused on their own ideas. When you've got an economy that does great for those with money and isn't doing great for everyone else, that is corruption, pure and simple. With the first answer of the night, Senator Elizabeth Warren set the tone. We need to make structural change in our government, in our economy, and in our country. But the economy is something the 10 candidates agree on. I live in a low-income black and brown community. I see every single day that this economy is not working for average Americans. The bottom 60 percent haven't seen a raise since 1980. There was less common ground on how to fix complex problems like health care. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Just a show of hands to start off with. I'm with Bernie on Medicare for All, and let me tell you why. I've spent a big chunk of my life studying why families go broke. And one of the number one reasons is the cost of health care. I am just simply concerned about kicking uh, half of America off of their health insurance. When it came to the crisis on the border, fathers and mothers and children are dying. If you were president today, what would you specifically do? I became the first candidate to put forward a comprehensive immigration plan, and we saw those images. <laughs> Watching that image of, of Oscar and his daughter Valeria uh, is heartbreaking. It should also piss us all off. Former Housing Secretary Julian Castro challenged his rivals to end the criminalization of illegal border crossings. Some, like Congressman O'Rourke, have not. And I want to challenge all of the candidates to do that. I, I just think it's a mistake, Bethel. I think it's a mistake. I helped to introduce legislation that would ensure that we don't criminalize those who are seeking asylum and refuge I'm in this country. If you're about, fleeing, if you're fleeing the desperation, asylum, then I'm I want to make about, sure I'm I want to make sure that you're treated. Speaking to viewers watching on Spanish television, some of the candidates delivered bilingual answers. Uh, me llamo Julian Castro y estoy postulando por presidente de los Estados Unidos. Vamos a tratar. Cada persona con el respeto y la situación, la situación ahora es inaceptable. It was a historic night. Never before had three women been on a stage at a presidential debate. I am the only candidate here who has passed a law protecting a woman's right of reproductive health and health insurance. I just want to say there's three women up here that have fought pretty hard for a woman's right to choose. So I'll start with that. One other name we didn't hear last night. Former Vice President Joe Biden, the Democratic frontrunner, he, Bernie Sanders, and eight more Democrats are on stage tonight. Anthony? Yeah, Biden's name conspicuously absent. Ed, thank you.